Hey, welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. It's your boy Marvin. I hope everyone is fine today and having a good day, evening, morning, whatever you are in the world. We're going to get straight into a video. This is by Red Pill Nation. Andrew reacts to whatever employee's decision to join OnlyFans. I mean, these uh, these ones are co um, quite comical. I've done a few uh, on whatever podcast at the end of the day, and it's great. Sometimes it turns into arguments or um, a bit of a free for all where everyone's jumping in and, 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 and having a go. It's interesting, it is interesting at the end of the day, but Andrew loves it, doesn't he? Let's get straight into it. Oh. Andrew, continue. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, anyway, back to this. Um, we were getting into it earlier. I understand that there is OnlyFans content which is not sexual in nature. But it basically does prop up the industry, which is uh, evolving around sex work, essentially. So I would, I would, as a general rule, stay away from it. I know that that's not the intention, yeah. right? Um, but there are people who do troll only fans successfully. Like they will go and just put like cat pictures up, and they're basically trolling the women, saying that they're going to end up being cat ladies. I think that that's hilarious. But uh, why would you want to? Do, I don't understand. Why you would go to a quarantine site instead of YouTube, which is the largest video sharing platform on planet Earth? Why wouldn't you do that? Well, I think it's a lot harder to make money off of YouTube. I, I'm not exactly sure how that works, but from what I've heard, it's a lot harder. I think with I think I had the same like. Do so you want these guys process. to sexualize you? Essentially, that's what you mean. I'm not saying I want them to, but... Well, but, if, I mean, if, if you're saying it's harder on just... YouTube than it is on OF, isn't that because you're basically banking on them sexualizing you while you're cooking fully clothed, right? Not exactly, because I could be saying the same, like, just by sitting here today being on the show. Like, guys are going to Yeah, but remember, intent matters. So yeah, I agree. It's clearly... Intent... Yeah, so, so if it's not your intent, and it's clearly not your intent on YouTube to be sexualized for your cooking... But on OnlyFans, I feel like you'd be sending some mixed signals on that, yeah? Because the guy's yeah, might, like, we... click the link and then, like, yes, if he sees a link. It's obvious she's going to do that. It's obvious why she's going on there, because she wants to earn quick money. I don't think she's looking at how it can... What she she? Um, maybe early 20s, maybe even 20. But I do think she's not looking at the wrong one. She's looking at the sh short-term financial viabilities that can make her uh, make her money and she's not really thinking what happens in the next and something is this year she's looking for um a short-term fix to win lots of money and get enjoyment from it at the end of the day and a lot of people do that while they're young at the end of the day yes we as older people can very well say oh she shouldn't be doing that she shouldn't be doing that if she's got a, a mindset on it she's gonna do it she ain't gonna give a, she ain't gonna give a toss what um, her parents say, uh, what the panel say at the end of the day, she's just going to do it at the end of the day. It's just, I see things from both sorts of view. Yeah, it could damage her in the long run, but in the short run, at the end of the day, she's put, a, with young people these days, if they put their mind to it, something they want to do, they just do it, whatever the consequences. Link, yeah. an OnlyFans link in your bio and you're like, oh, Madison has OnlyFans. Yeah. And then no, I, like, trust me, I've thought so hard hearing. about this mm -hmm. and yeah. that has crossed my mind a lot, but the more I think about it, I just realize how it's just like a platform. Like, we talked about how Twitter is also just a platform where you can now see literal videos of people having sex on Twitter, but yeah, that the doesn't original... mean you have to be one of those people. Yeah, but it's, like you said, it's about the intent. I'm literally just going to be cooking. Yeah, but but wait, no. And I'm making no, money. I can't, I can't let you get by on this, Madison. So, the intent of utilizing OnlyFans is because you think that the simps there are going to pay you more money, right? Because they want to sure. fap your cooking, right? I mean, isn't that like, let's be real, isn't that what's going on? You think the simps there are going to pay you more money? Because they're going to, like, fap to you making rice roni or whatever. Well, there's no, there's no doubt you're going to make money. Yeah. You would make hella money off of it. I think if I also <laughs> just posted it on YouTube, I'd have the same exact audience, though. Well, then why wouldn't you just utilize YouTube? Because I'd make more money off of doing it on, like, only then things on Patreon. Then that seems like you're in a... You're in a logical circle, right? Why, why do you think you would make more money on OnlyFans than you would on YouTube? Let me just ask you that. Like, directly... 
What is the direct answer? Why do you think on OnlyFans you would get paid more? Because uh, with the uh, subscribers that I would have that say come from like my Instagram page, I have around I think like 22,000 subscribers if I led them towards my OnlyFans and if they paid a certain amount of money a month to watch my cooking videos, that would add up. It seems Yeah, to but you could do the same thing more. with memberships on YouTube. I don't I don't understand. Like yeah, why, I guess would you, never, why do you I've think you would really... be making more on OnlyFans though? That's my that's my question. I'm not sure. I haven't thought. I just haven't. I don't even know the way YouTube works. Also, so maybe I can look into YouTube memberships. Patreon. Patreon. Yeah, yeah. And, and we've also well, talked okay. about doing Okay, so I gotta ask Patreon. this other question. I gotta ask this one one more for you, right? Yeah, I gotta be fair across the board. What's your boyfriend think of that, Madison? He's supportive. Really? He's supportive of you starting an OnlyFans cooking show? Yeah. Very yeah. supportive. What will you, will you take on any pay pigs? I think my point is, yeah, I don't think she realised what she's getting herself in for at the end of the day. Um, I don't think she has the knowledge of the way OnlyFans really run and its sexual orientation. I don't think she knows that at the end of the day. But look, if her boyfriend supported and she wants to do it, that's entirely up to her at the end of the day. But it's when in the long run, how involved is she she's going to get? She seems very, very naive on it all a little bit. Maybe she's got to do some more homework on it. No. I no. guess I guess you could consider, like, say, like, OnlyFans subscribers pay pigs. If, I guess that... No, 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 I'm like, not talking about that. I'm just saying, like... You know okay. what I mean by the pay pigs, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I feel like I have pay pigs in my DMs right now and I don't take any of them on, so. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I would uh, I would not do it. The thing is, it's funny, it's like, if you dance with the devil, the devil doesn't change, the devil changes you. As Jack Nicholson famously said, Ben George donated $69. Why not also charge people to watch you cook on Pronhub? You can have more than one platform. Yeah. Yeah, you could, right? You could go to Pornhub and do no, no pornography at all on Pornhub and just do cooking. Why not there? But the intent of the website Pornhub is to produce porn on there. The and what is the intent of OnlyFans? The original intent of Yeah, OnlyFans. what is it now, though? Okay, it's I guess it's to promote... Like when someone says but I think OnlyFans. It's, but I think it's also sex workers promoting themselves on OnlyFans. It's not OnlyFans promoting sex. Yeah, I mean, sex it's workers. a sex worker promoting themselves on Pornhub. You could have a site called Pornhub where there was no pornography, but... Um, but I know what Andrew's trying to do. He's trying to um, basically give us some knowledge on what she's going into so she doesn't make a mistake, which is fair enough. But so many young people do it and are earning a fortune off it yes it could have uh, sometimes uh, in the long run have detrimental mental problems on what is reality and what is real I do agree with that but um, I think that um, personally Madison needs to look into it a little bit more and read up about it it just it seems like to me she just wants to jump into it not knowing um really what she may have to do to make you know to make the money unless she talks to other only fan members who were making a lot of money and then that's when it could get a bit twisted in that you know you've got to show a bit of booty you've got to show a bit of breast um, you've got to dress um, sexually, you know, it, 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 it is a pressurized game to keep up with the Joneses. Yeah, that's not what's Porn. going on, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. A really stupid question, probably. I like don't really know what it only, like what is... So Sorry, OnlyFans is a platform stupid. where, I mean, I guess you could talk, you're on OnlyFans, right? Yes. I, do you like, what is, want to give her a rundown what OnlyFans is? Um, so like, you can have like a free or a paid page, so like the paid page that like, people tend to like eight ninety nine to subscribe for a month. So uh -huh. it's like a lot easier to earn money that way. Oh. As opposed to YouTube, you're gonna have to get a lot of views. Do you know what I mean? It's gonna take longer mm -hmm. to build up, whereas OnlyFans, you can start quickly posting and you're gonna be earning money straight away. Okay. So it's gonna be easier for you to earn the money from the so cooking shows like on OnlyFans. Subs subscribe yeah. thing. But the yeah. original intent of it was just for like people like who Madison wants to do a cooking show, like or people who do fitness or something and they could um have their only fans and people will pay for a membership to watch them do the fitness or like watch but the pictures now but now women have 
taken the platform and changed it to like a girl who so wants like to sell porn. pictures of their body yeah. or sell porn oh, okay. um, on It's a sex okay. site. Yeah. There's <laughs> basically no way around. Right. Yeah. It's a sex <laughs> site. What do you think the difference would be if I... Do you think it would be better, say, if I did, like, a Patreon just because of Patreon is less sex? Yeah. I mean, anything would likely be superior than going <laughs> purposely to a promotional sex site in order to, um, you know, push it up on your shoulders because obviously the intent of the simps who are over on OnlyFans to go and watch a cooking show probably has very little to do with you cooking. I'm just going to be completely honest with you. I appreciate your honesty. I, I yeah. very much appreciate your fatherly advice, Andrew. Uh, fatherly advice. I'm just, it's not even fatherly advice. It's just my opinion. Your man advice. Christ is Lord donated $70. Maddie, you know there is something off with this whole thing. Your conscience bears witness of this, which is why you were curious about Andrew's opinion. Well, I'm curious Andrew about everyone's is correct. opinion. You only get to sell your soul once, so just don't sell it. <laughs> Simple. That's deep. That's pretty deep what Andrew just said, because like I said, he don't want to ruin another life at the end of the day. But um, everyone's... But we can say to someone, please do this, please do that. Or have a think about this, don't go down that avenue. But people want to go down that avenue to see what it's like, and you can stop them. The bottom line is, she's over 18, she's an adult, she can do what the hell she wants at the end of the day, as long as she really knows, in my view, what she knows what she's getting into. I think she's smarter than what she makes out at the end of the day. I think that, she, you know, she may have to jazz things up in her cooking show at the end of the day. I, I don't know, turn up in shorts and a low cut top at the end of the day, but that could be the start of getting seriously involved. Okay. You can't ever take it back and you're not gonna make shit over there anyway to make it worth it. You'll just be known as a girl who had an OnlyFans page constantly correcting people that you didn't do any pornography on it. Why even waste your time or bother with it? Especially when you work for one of the largest IRL YouTube shows in existence, do you think it'd be easy for you to set up a YouTube platform cooking, honestly? That's very true. I've, I, yeah, that's why I'm not like really, I haven't really ha made a big decision about it yet. I'm I think even on TikTok. To, open to hearing like. Okay, well then here, we'll make the decision for you. No. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think it's a cute idea. I think you can find better platforms for it rather than OnlyFans. Just yeah, no, I, I agree. That's you just don't want to be a, up, like, the association. Patreon. Like. Yeah. Ben George donated $69. You will be wearing clothes, but what clothes? Would you wear the clothes you plan on wearing on OnlyFans, cooking, on a street known for sex workers? What? Yeah, that's a good question. So, he's, so what he's asking here, he's saying, look, if you knew that there was a red light district where there was tons of prostitutes who wore scantily, you know, scantily clad clothing, and would you then wear scantily clad clothing, go on, let's say, you know, 106 Prostitution Avenue, and start cooking there in order to sell your uh, your goods that seems like you would be kind of just participating right just before she answers that was my point was that what she's going to wear to the show at the end of the day is she just going to dress in jeans and a jumper or jeans and a t-shirt at the end of the day you've got to look at all avenues at the end of the day because i knew someone would bring up that point at the end of the day is she going to sexualize it and cook to make extra money and to get these guys and everyone looking in on her. You just, you know, you have to look at all avenues. That's a good point. That, that's kind of what his point is. Oh, okay. Guys, you're too good for that shit. Why, like, why waste your time with it? <coughs> you know, you know what that shit's all about. Thanks, Andrew. Do you agree, Brian? Uh, I'm, I'm, I think it's, uh, I don't think it would be a good move. No. I think it would be bad optics, not just for you, but for the whatever podcast. <laughs> so, wait, hold on. Here's the big. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Um, I'd say I think Maddie 
has to make her own decision. She's an adult. Um, I think that she needs to think about it and talk about it with her boyfriend because I don't think the deeper she goes into it, I think the deeper she'd be pressured um, to do more things on that at the end of the day. And she's got a good job um, with with whatever, Brian and whatever podcast anyway. Um, don't forget to subscribe to Streamline Entertainment and leave your notes. Um, thank you for the old subscribers and the new subscribers as well. Take care wherever you are in the world and uh, like the video.